Every time it's time to film my TBR, it takes me at least half an hour before filming to scour the house to find all of these pins and where they've been scattered. Hi, baby. Do you want to help me do the bowling? My ball. Yeah. But welcome back to the chaos that is Shani and Box. Yeah. Today I'm filming my April TBR video. If you haven't seen my previous TBR games, it is very simple. I put a prompt on each of the 10 pins. These are my son's toys, hence why I have to run around the house looking for them. But a prompt goes on each of these pins. I roll a ball, whatever gets knocked down, I have to find a book to match the prompt. A very, very simple game, but in April, all right, we've had to change positions. Um, what was I saying? In April, I am hosting my first ever readathon that I have created to celebrate reaching 1K subscribers on this channel. It is based around the game where I have, instead of, a, it's kind of like a bingo board, um, I'll insert a picture, but um, all of the bingo squares are pins because it's based around the 10 pin bowling game. It's happening April 3rd to 9th. Very easy to participate. Half the prompts are life prompts, so you can easily complete them. It's very low key. They don't want to make it too confusing, too chaotic, because my life is already chaotic enough. There is a group book, which is this book if you wanted to. I kind of just had that as an optional thing. I wasn't sure if people would care to do that, but I'm going to be reading this. So I just thought I'd put it out there if anyone else wants to. And I also have some printables. There is a bookmark that has all of the graphics of the prompts and stuff. And there's also a journal spread that you can print off if you want to stick it in your journal. I'll leave linked the announcement video. Thank you so much to everyone who left me nice comments. Or have said they're going to participate it is so nice sorry there's a lot of talking at the beginning of this um but yes i'm yet to watch people's tbr for the month because some people have actually tagged me saying they're participating which is so so nice i've actually had a very stressful last couple of weeks so i've taken some time off from reading and filming and just watching and consuming booktube oh my god i thought that was a cat so now i am going to try and catch up on all the content that i have missed so sorry if i haven't replied to comments and stuff i just need to take a break and have some chill time with kian but now that that is all said and done let's pull out the prompts how do i mix this <laughs> I'm gonna try and mix this up. Okay. Oh god. This one is a memoir, which I don't know if I even have any. Okay, that's one. There it is. Oh, perfect. A book that has pictures. Okay, should I even bother trying to get this to focus? No. Which is one of the prompts for the readathon, which is perfect. A person on the cover. Uh oh. A book that matches my makeup. Yeah. Um, I didn't finish my makeup today. I started doing yeah. yellow. And then Kian wanted to play with his Pokemon toys with me. So I stopped to play with him because obviously he's more important than my makeup. So... Or I could just do plain. I don't know. This wasn't the month to have that one pulled out. A book that matches my nails, which are pretty plain. So I have to look for if that one gets knocked, a book that is brown. Out of my comfort zone. Okay, this is not going good this month. Title with a day, week, month, season, etc. That one I think was a previous Buzzwordathon um, mm -hmm. prompt. Mm -hmm. One word title. Mm -hmm. Okay, two more. A noun in the title. Okay, last one. <laughs> An intimidating book. Okay. Well, let me put those in the pins and let's go. Cheese. Cheese. Okay, good job. Yep. <laughs> All right, ready? We're going to roll the ball now, okay? Let's see how many mummy gets. You're going to watch? Yes. Yes. Thank you for cheering me on. All right, I'm back. I left Kim for two seconds and I think he broke my tripod, so hopefully things are all right. 
I will go over the books for the 10 pin bowling prompts and then I'll tell you any additional books that I'll be aiming to read during the month. I'm trying to go easy on myself um, because I think I've been pushing myself a bit hard with the amount of books that I've been trying to read and putting too much pressure on myself when I should just be trying to have fun. So for the book for out of my comfort zone, I am going to use the group book for the readathon um, because it is young adult, which that is now out of my comfort zone because I have lately been not really enjoying young adult books. Um, so they do scare me a bit, but I'm hoping to still enjoy this, even though I don't know, I feel like I'm a bit old for young adult now because I just haven't been enjoying them. Um, but let's hope the best for this one. This is an Australian author, it is a blue cover, and it is an LGBT book because I believe this is like a gay Greece retelling. Um, so that is part of why I chose it for the group book because it fits a bunch of the prompts for the readathon. And I grew up watching Greece over and over again, so let's hope that this is good. Okay, next up, a one word title. I was looking at my shelves and none of the books that I could see that I owned, um, I was really that excited to read. But in March, I did reread Nevermore so that I could continue on the series and read Wondersmith. And the third book is called Holopox, which is one word, I believe, which I do not own, but I'm pretty sure I saw it at the library the other day when I was there with Kian. So I'm thinking that I will pick up a copy from the library if I do not purchase myself a copy um, because I'm not really buying books at the moment. And I am really loving this series. I think it's definitely going to be my favorite series ever. I don't usually read series. I don't usually read fantasy, um, but because it's middle grade. It is super just magical and fun and it feels like a combination of all of the books that I feel nostalgia for from my childhood slash high school reading life. Next up, I have Person on the Cover. It's so annoying, like my camera is the worst at focusing. Um, and for this one, I mean, I'm gonna count this as Person on the Cover, there's multiple people. Um, but I'm going to use the X Talk for this one. Feel like I'm going to be in like a just easy read mood. Um, I've read a lot of sad books and I've read a lot of books that, I don't know, I just haven't been able to get through. I keep putting down the books that I'm reading at the moment. So I'm hoping that some romance books and some easy contemporaries might help me through this period. Um, but I think this is about two radio hosts who have to pretend to be exes to do like a radio segment on their show, I believe. And then I guess I fall in love because it is a romance. <laughs> And I think this will be hate to love because it says on the back they despise each other. So, uh, and then the last for the pins that I knocked down today is an intimidating book, which um, intimidating can mean a bunch of different things. Uh, so looking at my shelf, I didn't want to pick something that was way too out of my comfort zone, I guess, um, and that I wouldn't read it because, spoiler alert, did not finish my March TBR. So I'm not going to give myself a punishment, I decided, because I'm just going to end up hating reading. So because I didn't finish my March TBR, I'm going to try and take it easy in April. So for me, intimidating, I have chosen to go with the definition of it's long, which makes it intimidating. And this book is almost 500 pages, but it is a genre that is going to be easier, I think, for me than some others. So I've chosen The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary, which it is, I guess, quite a long book for a romance. Okay, Kim's going to play with a noisy toy now. Um, so this is about characters who are road tripping to a wedding and I think they have to carpool with their ex. Yeah, Addie and her sister are on a road trip to a wedding in Scotland and a car slams into theirs and the driver is her ex who she hasn't seen since their breakup. It's intimidating because it is long for me. It's also blue but I don't think I'll read this during the readathon because it is so long. And then other books that I'm planning to read during April. Um, obviously, the readathon, like I've spoken about a million times. Um, so obviously, the group book, like I said, already checks off a bunch of prompts. It is an Aussie author. It's blue. It's LGBT. If I read the third book in this series, that's also an Aussie author. But one of the other prompts is Asian author. And I did not get around to Before the Coffee Gets Cold last month. It was on my TBR. And it's really short. Um, so I just, it's not that I didn't have time. I just didn't pick it up. 
but I do still want to get to this one and the author is Japanese so it will fit for Asian author and it also has blue on the cover and then one of the other prompts on the board for the readathon is for a picture book and I've mentioned some in the announcement video um, obviously I have a toddler so we will be picking up multiple picture books throughout the week um, but one of the books that we have is Eyes That Kiss in the Corners, which this can fit for Asian author as well if I want to double up, if I don't get to that other book. Um, and I do think they came up with a second one. Can't exactly remember the title, but I think it has a boy on the cover. So I'm going to see if my library has that one for Kian. Um, but we do have this one. Obviously all of these picture books I've read before multiple times, but we will be rereading them. We also recently just got If I Had an Octopus, um, because Kian is obsessed with Under the Sea at the moment. Um, this one's also blue, so it could double up for that prompt. I think I'm pretty much covered for the prompts. I've got enough doubling up happening. Um, and then if we want to cover all our bases and use a picture book for every single prompt. I believe Aaron Blavy is an Australian author um, and... We have a bunch of his book. We have many copies of the Pig the Pug series. This one's Pig the Winner. It's also blue. So yeah, we're pretty much covered. I feel like I can do each of the prompts for my readathon in both novel form and picture book form at this point. So maybe I'll try and do all the prompts myself and then get Kian to also do all the prompts himself because we have enough books for that. The other thing that I almost always forget to mention in these videos is the Buzzword Readathon, which I'm sure you all know it's hosted by Books and Lala. It is a year long thing where each month there is a word or a group of words that you have to find a book to match. And April, I believe, is Emotions. I think the new Emily Henry book comes out at the end of April, which is called Happy Place. So if I'm correct in the release date, and if I can get it in time, I could read Happy Place for that one. But if not, I'll have to have a think about what it could be because none of these fit, do they? No. So my TBR includes these, which is very blue spines, plus hollow pox. Um, this obviously isn't it. As well as any picture books that we read throughout the week. I will be trying to vlog that readathon. Not making any promises about the vlog, whether it will turn out or if I will finish it at all, because filming with a toddler is pretty hard. As you can probably tell from this video, it's very chaotic. Um, but yes, there is my April TBR. Please let me know if you are going to be reading any of these books yourself, if you've read any and what you thought of them, as well as if you are planning to participate in the readathon. Thank you so, so much if you are. I honestly posted it. I didn't know if anyone would participate. So it's really nice to see that people actually are because I just thought if no one wants to, it's just going to be a fun week for me to celebrate 1K for myself. But thank you so much to everyone who is and if you've stuck around for the K Chaos. I'm sorry about the background noise once again. And yes, I'm going to go and try and catch up on all the content that I've missed over the past couple of weeks that I've been taking a break. What is with the lighting? Am I sunburnt? I'm literally not sunburnt. I, I feel like in my screen I look sunburnt. <laughs> what is going on? Anyway, that's this video. Chaotic once again, but yeah, I'll see you next time.